This is my face. <laughs> Should you consider this Greasel T300? Let's talk about it. What up folks, this is I from Ask God Solar, where I like to keep solar simple, ain't no need to complicate it. Let's talk about this portable power station by Greasel, Grisel, the T3000, T300. Is it the Terminator? Anyway, this device is a 300 watt hour lithium ion capable portable power station. It has a 288 watt hour capacity. The screen is, it's cool. It shows a percentage, it's not some crazy five bar. It will show you percentage points of how much battery capacity is left. And it also shows you which thing is on and off. You don't get time remaining or any, anything like that. It has one AC outlet rated at 330 watts. The 288 watt hour battery capacity I already talked about is a 12 volt adapter. I don't remember if this thing is regulated. I'll tell you right here if it's regulated or not. But as you can see, this port is definitely not regulated. 11 volts, what you supposed to do with that? <laughs> it has three quick charge USB-A ports, one USB-C PD port, and two 5521 adapter port thingies under the 12 volt adapter. It has that USB-C 60 watt PD port, but it is not bi-directional. I think it would have been cool if this thing was bi-directional. It also would have been cool if it dual charged. Now the 12 volt adapter area, the 12 volt DC area says that it's 12 volts at 10 amps. I would assume that these all share that voltage. It does not have a flooded light. It just has a flashlight type bulb on the side, which can be controlled by this particular button. One thing I do like about this particular light is that it turns on whether the device is on or off. That is always convenient to not have to turn a device on and whatever, whatever. It does have a flat top, no wireless charger up here, eh, you know, but the handle folds down. So gives you more space. You can put stuff on top of it. It has these orange bumper rubber style guards to keep you from bumping it into something and then getting all scratched up. The charging port on here is a eight millimeter. Now here's the interesting thing about eight millimeter. Eight millimeter is typically on more capable devices. I was excited about this when the company showed me it. I saw the eight millimeter port and I was like, mm, I wonder if it could charge at like about 70, 80, 100 watts. That would be cool. But it turns out no matter what you do, no matter what kind of power you put into it, it maxes out at 50 watts. We're entering into like older Jackery days with that. So that's kind of unfortunate. But, you know, it's a basic power station. I think about the Jackery 240, 190 or whatever it was when I think about this. But this one has a little bit more um, potential and that it has a 60, it has more USB ports. It does come with all the cables that you need to charge it. It includes an eight millimeter to MC4 power charger, and it also includes a 12 volt adapter to charge it as well. I think that that's really good that they put this stuff in the box. There are a few shortcomings to this device. One, it doesn't support pass-through charging, and I'm just like, dang. Dang. The other thing is that I tested its capacity and its rated capacity on the AC outlet is very like, it's, it's a problem in my opinion. It's a 288 watt hour device, but the battery capacity that comes out of the AC after it's inverted and all that is less than 200 watt hours. I reached out to them and they were like, yeah, that's kind of like what it is. I, you know, I, it is what it is. I mean, I wanted you to know that. Like most devices that don't support pass-through charging on the AC, it supports pass-through charging on the other things like the USB ports and the 12 volt adapter. So that's good. I did notice in my testing that while using the AC, the load doesn't necessarily matter. The fan will turn on, I guess, as it gets warm or at some type of interval. I was running like a 10 watt lamp. A lot of devices when you run such a small load, um, I shouldn't say a lot. Some devices, when you run such a small load, the fan does not turn on at all. Some devices have the fan turn on programmatically. I don't know what this one is like geared towards, but the fan does turn on every now and then on just a simple 10 watt load off of the AC adapter. So let's talk about the implications of this device and what I think about it. I think it's a good starter device. I don't think it's something that some people who are more familiar with power stations will want to throw money at. But if you were buying one for like uh, aunt or uncle or somebody who is kind of just getting into it, 
Uh, I think it's important to watch the price on this one because that could be a determining factor in whether or not you consider it. It's much like the same thing I say with the Rock Pals. The Rock Pals does not support pass through charging either, but it had some pros. This one is just kind of like, it's a basic power station. I wasn't really wild by it. The watt hour capacity off the AC was kind of like, ugh, geez but it does have a pretty decent coupon on it right now. You really have to kind of find a situation where this will work for you and find a price where this will work for you. Let me know what you guys think about devices like this. Is it worth actually considering or are these devices just kind of like out there just because? Do they fit into any use case scenario that you see? I see them as being like a good stocking stuffer, but most people I feel like will want AC pass through power. But on some of my previous videos, some people have talked about how that doesn't necessarily matter to them. It's a lightweight device. You could pick it up, grab it, and go. I like the form factor of it. Uh, you know, the square folding down handle is appealing. But you guys ultimately be the judge. This is my take on the device. You can check out my Rock Pals video that I did where I kind of give some use case scenarios for that. But other than that, it is I holla. <laughs>